intriguing question. It said, what, what would a faculty member ask? And um, I realize this is probably a loaded question, but uh, if each of you could say one thing you remember that we as faculty members did that was helpful, <laughs> and one thing that was not. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you asked this question. <laughs> I was fortunate that nothing ever happened to me that was destructive. Um, and, and so in terms of the least helpful <coughs> thing that was done or said, or, I don't know, I can't. If after Carol gets done, I can think of one, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> that same problem. I'm, I'm not coming up with something, an individual, a critical incident. I'm trying for a critical incident. I'm not finding anything. But the two helpful things were, somebody mentioned, maybe it was Linda, the beginning of the program was, uh, the beginning of the program, um, the skills, the creation of the program, the skills training, uh, there were four groups of us, there were four doctoral students in each letter group, and we all rotated. I don't know if you still do that. Do you still do that? Um, it was, uh, that was really great. And we learn a skill and we work on each other. And that was, that was a very good way to do that in the beginning. Um, and the other thing that was very helpful to me was that I had no, <coughs> had no idea how to be a professional. Um, I'd been a teacher. Nobody had ever showed me how to write a memo. <coughs> and so uh, Bob Reardon showed me how to write a memo. <laughs> he got me far. <laughs> But I can't think of anything. Nobody here was really very destructive to me. <laughs> That's why it was like a family. And I would just add to that, all the people, Pat Johnson and Ann and 
thought we were, that gave us feedback all along and were so honest with us uh, really helped us look at ourselves and try to hone our professional skills. And I, I so much appreciate it. We had a two-way mirror, and they would watch us and uh, give us feedback.